Good morning, graduates, Sacramento County Board Trustees, Superintendent Gordon, SCOE administration, parents, and Palmetto students and staff. Welcome to our virtual graduation. We are so happy you are all here to share in this celebration of the accomplishments and amazing attributes of our graduating class of 2021. I am Lauren Roth, principal of Leo A. Palmetto Junior Senior High School. And with me on stage, we have our executive director, Mr. Michael Cast. We also have Ms. Abeglin, our program specialist. <laughs> you may see her hand. And then we have Mr. Pappas, our senior class advisor. It goes without saying that these have been trying and difficult times. All of us have had to make incredible adjustments and find resilience we could not have anticipated. Even though this graduation is gonna look different, the achievements are still the same. Graduates, you have put in hard work and overcome many obstacles. You've learned and grown so much and we couldn't be more proud. This is an exciting day for all of us. We will start our program with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our first speaker is Mr. David W. Gordon, County Superintendent of Schools, and he will impart some inspirational words for you. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor to speak to you. High school graduation is a big moment in anyone's life and I'm thrilled to share this event with you. This has been an especially challenging time for everyone and especially for all of you. Your senior year started out virtually, then campus opened eventually, and this was not the kind of senior year you'd hoped for. So I cannot tell you how much we've admired your resiliency and your grit. Grit is courage or determination, it's strength of character, it's also a combination of passion and resilience, and it's a quality not enough people have, but you have it. Thanks to your grit, you finished your high school education despite the COVID-19 restrictions that kept you at home, away from your teachers, away from your schools, and away from your friends. I know that's been hard, and we understand that. While this is a virtual Zoom celebration, the pride we feel for you is real. We know how hard you work to reach this goal of earning your diploma. But graduation is an important step in your life journey. But remember, this is just one and only one of many milestones you will reach during your lives. Through SCOE, we hope you found the direction you needed to reach this milestone. You had extra support, mentoring, career development and training an entire team of teachers and staff rooting you on every step of the way. But even though we cannot celebrate with you in person, we recognize how much hard work you put in to reach your goal and earn your diploma. I want to thank our Board of Education for supporting our students throughout the year. They watched with great interest as you developed and grew. Along with your family and friends, our board members are also very proud of your achievements. I also want to thank Principal Lauren Roth, all our teachers and other Palmetto staff who work so hard to get you ready for this important day. We also should recognize those people closest to you who supported you along the way, your parents, families, and friends. Because without their help and support, you might not be here today, so please, turn and thank them. Graduates, you all set personal goals. You worked hard and you met them. While you had a lot of support, you put in the hard work. Any achievement involves hard work. And remember, you can't back away from hard work because it's what will carry you throughout life. And so graduates of the class of 2021, as you move on to the next stage in your lives, Please know there is something special about you and that through hard work and passion and grit, you will achieve your goals. 
Congratulations and treasure this day. We are all filled with pride and we share in your happiness today and always. Thank you, Superintendent Gordon. We are fortunate and pleased to have Kevin Bracey with us. Kevin is a well-known motivational speaker who has valuable words for our graduates. Yes, I'm excited to be here. And let me say this, you're gonna hear the word congratulations a lot. And I'm sure you've already heard it today. You're gonna hear it all probably through the week and through the weekend. But what I want you to think about graduates is every time you hear the word congratulations, I want you to think of the word momentum. Because right now you're in a momentous place in your life. You're feel, you've, you've accomplished something. If I know you feel great today, but, the, but what I'm thinking about is how do you keep moving forward? How do you take this energy, this success, and, and use it to push you forward? If, if I don't know what your next step is, I'm not sure if it's going to college, I'm not sure if it's trade school, I'm not sure if it's it's the military, I'm not sure if it's right into the job market or, or starting your own business, whatever it is, listen to me, young, great and gifted students, don't wait to get started. Get started while you're in a place of momentum, this energy you can use, and I'm gonna tell you one story and I'm gonna get out of your way. Because my passion is to convince you to reach for your wildest dreams, Kevin. Reach for your wildest dreams, Jeremiah. Reach for your wildest dreams, Denise. Go get your wildest dreams. Now, most speakers say that. It's cute to say that. Oh, reach for your wildest dreams. I'm not just saying it just to say it. I have a daughter, her name is Kendra. When she was young, she wanted to be a dancer. Follow me. Daddy, I wanna dance. Daddy, I wanna dance. Daddy, I wanna dance. I said, great. So I put her in all the different dance classes as I possibly could all around Sacramento. Elementary school, she wanted to dance. Middle school, she wanted to dance. High school, she wanted to dance. Eventually, when she was young, when she was maybe in elementary school, she got picked up by a show on television called Hip Hop Harry, which is the hip hop version of Sesame Street. After two seasons on Hip Hop Harry, she went back to her love, which was dance. And then she got to her senior year in high school, right? Right where you are. And when she graduated from high school, she comes home one day, a couple days after graduation, we celebrated and had fun. I'm watching the game. I watch sports all the time. And when I'm watching sports, y'all, you can call my name, but I can't hear you because I'm focused on the game. She comes downstairs right after graduation. Dad, I was like, baby, I'm watching the game. She's like, dad, I wanna move to LA. Baby, I know you wanna move to LA, but do you realize that you've never had a job before? I know dad, but I, had, I've, I got a dream. I wanna move to LA. I was like, Kendra, a dream doesn't pay the bills. You gotta have a job to pay the bills. Dad, I got a dream. What do you tell all the other kids? I was like, for real, you gonna do this like right in the middle of my game and all this? And like most daughters, she won the battle, Jeremiah. She, I moved her to LA. She's your age, living in LA, talking about, I'm about to be a star. I was like, baby, you're already a star. You're daddy's star. No, dad, I'm about to be a star. When she moved to LA, she went to audition after audition after audition. She's trying to be a star. Commercials, television shows, concerts, audition, audition, audition. She got no after no after no, after audition after no, after audition after no, 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 no. Three years and three months after moving to LA, Kev, she got all no's, not one yes. And you would think, that that would take all of the energy out of you, all the confidence out of you. And you say, I'm gonna come back home, it's not for me. But she kept going. And in April of 2016, after three years and three months of all no's, she got one yes. Can I have everybody put their ones up right now, please? Ones up, ones up, ones up. Yep, ones up, thank you, you can put them down. She got one yes. And her one yes was on tour with Beyonce, one of 19 dancers in the whole world, dancing for one of the greatest entertainers of all time. And after you dance for Beyonce, it opens up the floodgates, right? It was the, the Grammys and the Oscars and, and dancing with Janelle Monet. And then next thing you know, she got another tour with Drake, one of six dancers in the world, traveling with Drake, doing what she loves to do. She got one yes. What's my point? She was reaching for her wildest dreams. Me as a dad, as a motivator, I'd have never thought she would get with Beyonce or get with Drake. And I'm like, go for it, you can live your dreams. But I never thought she would get to that 
point. So here's what I tell you. Reach for your wildest dreams. Everything that it took for you to get to this point, I need you to hear my voice right now. Everything it took for you to get to this point today, all the challenges you went through, all the struggles you went through, all this COVID stuff last year, all the madness that you had to get through and look at you right now. You made it. You about to graduate. So take what you've done to get here and take it to the next stage of your life. But don't settle. Don't settle, Denise. Reach for your wildest dreams. And today, who would have thought when she moved to LA years ago in 2012? Today, she's, I just got off the phone with her. She's in a bidding war with some of the top record labels in the business right now. She just uh, created a song with Sweetie. Go check it out. It's called Seesaw. My daughter, she didn't even leave here to go dance. I mean, she didn't leave here to be a singer. She left here to be a dancer. And now she's about to get into the music game. And you're about to hear her stuff on the radio and all over these award shows. What does that say? Am I bragging? No, 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 no. The message is for each and every one of you to reach for your wildest dream the dream that scares you reach for that one but how do i get there kevin i got all this some noise in my head that's telling me i can't do it hear me and i'm closing from this point forward when your mind goes negative i want your mouth to go positive stay with me as i close when your mind goes negative i want your mouth to go positive miss tyson when your mind says, I can't, I need your mouth to say, I can. When your mind says, I'm just not good enough, I need your mouth to say, I am good enough. When your mind says, I just don't matter, I need your mouth to say, I do matter. We got to combat the negative thoughts with positive words. When your mind goes negative, mouth goes positive. When you feel negative, don't speak negative. When you feel negative, you speak positive. When you feel strife, still try to speak life. Mind goes negative, mouth goes positive. Hey, when you feel negative, don't speak negative. When you feel negative, you speak positive. When you feel strife, still try to speak life. One more time. Mind goes negative, mouth goes positive. When you feel negative, don't speak negative. When you feel negative, you speak positive. When you feel strife, still try to speak life. What you say to yourselves from this day forward matters. Reach for your wildest dreams. Take this momentum to the next stage of your lives. There's greatness in you. Don't you dare settle. I'm just going to settle. I'm just going to, no. Go for what you really want to do, that thing that scares you. But you got to keep a positive mindset. How? When your mind goes negative. Your mouth goes positive. When you feel negative, don't speak negative. When you feel negative, you speak positive. When you feel strife, still try to speak life. There's greatness in you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking to read about you. There's greatness in you. Chase your dreams. Brace up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Graduates, every year I take time to reflect on all that has happened during the school year. I continue to be amazed of all the activities. Most of them, of course, were virtual. Um, that you students and staff have experienced at Palmer and how much you have accomplished from participating and becoming a, a registered voter and uh, voting in the actual election, in addition to our school's mock election to signing into Google Classroom and Zoom each day. You have all achieved so much. Many of you have completed one or more internships in various workplaces. Others have registered for community college. Some have even been hired by the company that they had an internship with. For many, it was not easy to participate in virtual classrooms, which at times could be frustrating and difficult. Regardless, I can remember the first day all of you stepped on the Leo A. Palmer campus, and for one of you, seeing you for the first time in our Zoom classroom. For all of us, it is a proud moment to see you graduate today. You may ask why uh, we are so pleased with your achievements, because you took charge of your future and overcame obstacles. 
you met all the important milestones to graduate. In fact, you took the responsibility to persevere. Perseverance is the ability to keep pushing forwards towards your goal, despite the obstacles or challenges that you have encountered along the way. By making the uh, necessary adjustments, you adapted and you kept focused. Each student graduating today has exhibited the perseverance I am talking about by working through seemingly endless Zooms, difficult ingenuity lessons, or getting through your first day at the job site. You have worked through many years of education and now you're ready to move to the next stage of your lives. I want to challenge you, class of 2021, that whatever you do, never stop learning, exploring, growing and challenging yourself to do your very best. Don't allow yourself to fall into unhelpful ways of thinking. If you encounter a difficult situation, walk, work through it and be able to bounce back from that step back, just like you did while you were in school. Be confident in your abilities and stay true to yourself. When you feel you might be losing the desire to persevere, remember how you got to this point in your lives. It was in part due to the support of your families and your drive to make your family proud of your accomplishments. The same sense of family will support you going forward into your adult lives. It is this sense of family that provides many of us the drive to make the right choices in life, pursue goals, and never ever give up. When given a hard decision, remember to choose the path that will make you and your family proud of you as they are proud of you today. As you, the class of 2021, leaves this virtual graduation today, keep in mind what the great basketball player, Michael Jordan, once said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. As your principal, I feel honored to have had at least a small part in supporting you and your families as you've grown into adulthood and go on to become positive members of our community. Congratulations to you, class of 2021. And now we have Mr. Pappas. Graduates of 2021. Mr. Bracey told you that you would continue to hear people telling you congratulations, so here you go again. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Four years ago, you began a mission. The road wasn't always smooth, and you may have had moments where you felt like giving up, but through the ups and downs, you persevered and accomplished your goal, and here we are today. What has road has been? You made it through a global pandemic, quarantine, and Zoom classes. While this is an incredible accomplishment, this is only be the beginning. Your journey is incomplete and your story remains unwritten. It is time to take the lessons you've learned from your time at Palmer and those you've learned from your family and friends and apply them to real life situations. While we're on the topic of friends and family, take a moment to thank them for supporting you and helping you get here today. Some of you are going on to attend community college and some of you will enter the workforce. Whichever path you take, Walk with the confidence of knowing that you have acquired the tools necessary for success. And while there will be many challenges ahead of you, please don't be too proud to ask for help. We all need someone we can lean on. Graduates, I encourage you to always surround yourself with people that will endeavor to lift you up and not tear you down. Work hard to be a contributing member of society your success means the success for your community. I would like to end uh, with the quote from Dr. Seuss on the places you will go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with so many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three fourths percent guarantee. Congratulations once again.
Thank you, Mr. Pappas. We have three student speakers this year, and we will start our student presentations by asking Jeremiah Gage Thomas to present. My fellow classmates, we have accomplished one of the biggest moments of our young lives, completing high school. We share some good times and bad times, made new friends and discovered enemies. I know it was a long, hard journey to make it to this day. I know how much pain and suffering it felt like we was going through to graduate. Some of us were labeled the bad kids with behavioral problems and some had other difficulties. No matter the journey, you never give up. Even if people are doubting you or, you, or even if you are doubting yourself. Look at us now, we have made it. Today, Thursday, June 3rd, 2021, we have graduated. Before I go any further, I must give thanks to God for many blessings I have received and for my special church family members. My fellow classmates, we did not take this journey alone. We have family, friends, and educators to help us along the road. At this time, I would like to thank my grandma for always getting on me when I would act stupid. She always made sure I was loved, safe, and taken care of every day. I wanna thank my dad for being in my life all these years, showing me what it means to be a man, teaching me certain skills I would need in life, and being my male role model. I want to thank my big cousin for taking me in this past year when I was at my worst, letting me have my freedom and space I needed from a lot of stuff. These three people are my biggest role models in my life and they all never gave up on me. They loved me, took care of me. They shaped me into the young man I am today. And I wanna give special thanks to them. I want to thank the rest of my family I love you all and want to thank each of you for being there with me and for me. Educators, paraeducators, BMTs, administrative staff and staff, I have not forgotten you. Giving us guidance, being our mentors, teaching us stuff about life and showing us what it means to be a grown up. Without, without that support, none of us would be here where we are today. Classmates, as Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream. Our dream is to be successful in life. Whatever that positive outcome is, go for it. Mine is to become an electrician and to own my own business. This journey to our dream will not be easy. There will be haters and people that will not support you, but that is okay. Stay on the path of your dream slash journey. We could be anything in this world. Do not ever think small. I want you to think big and you might be surprised at what you will be able to accomplish. We survived the COVID-19 virus. Our home became our classroom and we had to do schoolwork on a Chromebook known as virtual distance learning. 12 years ago, I was excited to start school, but I had no idea about the path of the journey I was about to begin. Some of us here today, including our parents, are wondering how our lives are going to turn out. It is okay to wonder, but I also think it is important to realize that our future is, is not something just that happens to us. It's something that is something, it is up to us to create the trip. Go class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Denisha or Nunu, please. Nunu, are you ready? Okay. All right. All right. When I first started at Leo A. Palmer, I didn't know what to expect. And I wanted to, and I want to thank all my teachers and staff that helped me help me keep going and I would also like to thank my family and my mom and my sisters. This would not be possible if you were not in my life. I will move forward in life and always be thankful.
for everyone who helped me along the way. Good job, man. Thank you. And our last speaker is Chauncey Water. So you guys will have to unmute. unmute yeah. Hello. Uh, Waterfield. I would like to thank uh, my family and all my friends for supporting me through this very tough school year. It's been really hard, and I'm just glad that I, you know, made it to graduation. Woo! Thank you, Chauncey. So now it's the time for oh, some awards. Um, first, we must acknowledge a student who attended Palmer this past year, and we're, we were so happy to have him in our program. He has excellent attendance through all this distance learning and completed all assigned uh, tasks. This award goes to Chauncey Waterfield for academic achievement. Yay. So we will have your certificate for you when we come back, okay? <laughs> it is now time to present the leadership award. Okay. Um, the award recognizes the efforts of students who demonstrate leadership skills that reflect high levels of responsibility and commitment. This year's award recognizes the leadership of a student who has attended junior high and high school at Leo A. Palmeter. He has attended career tech classes in both horticulture and culinary arts. He has worked uh, at the Capitol Public Radio, Community Garden, Escaton, Senior Living Community, Fulton El Camino Parks and Rec, and currently is at CVS. He is an excellent employee, says all his supervisors, who is responsible, hardworking, and dedicated, and always respectful to his coworkers and supervisors. His future looks bright and is currently enrolled in the Thousand Strong program, which was developed via an initiative which assists youth with preparation and accelerates their career. He will be placed as an intern in the field of construction as he aspires to be an electrician. Congratulations, Jeremiah H. Thomas. We have something for you and we will make sure you get it on uh, when you're on the night, okay? So congratulations. At this time, we will be announcing your names for your certificate. After your names have been called, we have a short video to honor you. And Ms. Beglin? Thank you. Good morning. Um, um, first off, we have Kevin Crockett. Josh Kevin. Joshua DePhillips. Jeremiah Gage Thomas. Denisha Nunu Keys. Emma Cordaroli. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. Tylisha Tyson. And last, Chauncey Waterfield. Congratulations to all of you and your families.
came prepared this time. <laughs> uh, before I present the graduating class, this is the moment we have been waiting for. Graduates, it's now time to turn your tassels from the left to the right. Turn your tassel, Jeremiah. There you go. And make it official, right? There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the graduating class of 2021. We couldn't be more proud. Congratulations to all of you.